Let's embark on a delightful journey into the realm of food science today, specifically genetically modified organisms, commonly known as GMOs. As we traverse this landscape, our focus will remain tethered to one of the most pervasive health concerns in our modern world, diabetes. We'll explore which GMO foods might not be the best fit for those managing this condition, and we'll shed light on research and studies that underpin these discussions. Watch till the end to find out the worst GMO foods that should be avoided at all costs if you have diabetes. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Setting the stage, it's important to grasp what GMOs are. These are organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering. This often merges DNA from different species, creating combinations of plant, animal, bacterial, and viral genes that do not occur in nature or through traditional crossbreeding methods. The goal of GMOs is often to induce a desired trait like resistance to pests or tolerance to herbicides. However, the potential health implications of consuming these genetically engineered foods have been a hotly debated topic. First on our list of GMO foods to be cautious about for diabetics is GM corn. Corn is among the most commonly genetically modified foods, with GM variants created to resist pests and specific herbicides. A medium ear of corn, whether it's GM or not, contains about 24 grams of carbohydrates, and its glycemic index, GI, ranges from 52 to 60, depending on the variety and preparation method. As we know, High GI foods are not necessarily the best for people with diabetes, as they can cause quick spikes in blood sugar levels. While the GI might be moderate, the high carb content might still be a problem. A 2012 study conducted by Gilles Eric Seralini, a molecular biologist at the University of Cannes, France, found that rats fed on a diet containing NK603 Roundup tolerant genetically modified maize, or given water containing Roundup, presented severe kidney and liver damage and negative effects on the heart, adrenal glands, spleen, and even the blood cells. While this study has been a topic of controversy, and its conclusion doesn't translate directly to humans, it raises a flag about the potential implications of consuming GM corn regularly. Next, let's turn to GM soy. This legume has been genetically engineered to resist herbicides and pests. A major concern with GM soy is its high content of omega-6 fatty acids. While these fats are necessary for the body, they must maintain a balanced ratio of omega-3 fatty acids. The standard American diet, which often includes a significant amount of soy and soy derivatives, can disrupt this balance, leading to inflammation. Chronic inflammation, as suggested by a 2010 study published in the journal Diabetes Care, can lead to insulin resistance, which is detrimental for individuals with diabetes. On our path, we now encounter GM canola oil, Despite its low saturated fat content and the heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids it provides, canola oil has often been genetically modified. A study published in Experimental Diabetes Research in 2007 showed that diets high in canola oil led to an increase in blood glucose levels in subjects, raising potential concerns for diabetic individuals. Venturing further, we come across GM papaya. While fruit is often a healthy choice for diabetics due to its high fiber and nutrient content, GM papayas could be a different story. The genetically engineered ring spot virus resistant papaya might pose potential allergic risks, according to the Center for Food Safety. Allergic reactions can lead to sudden inflammation, which as mentioned earlier, could disrupt insulin regulation in the body. Lastly, we have arrived at the end of our journey, and it's time to reveal the number one GMO food for diabetics to avoid, GM sugar beets. Sugar beets have been genetically modified to withstand herbicides, making them a hard crop for farmers. But here's the kicker. GM sugar beets are used to produce a staggering half of the granulated sugar in the United States, according to the USDA. This means that consuming products with added sugar could be a potential source of GMOs in your diet. The connection to diabetes here may seem straightforward. Excessive sugar intake has long been linked to obesity and type 2 diabetes. A study published in PLOS One Journal in 2013 found a significant association between sugar availability and diabetes prevalence rates. GM sugar beets, by contributing to the overall sugar availability, might indirectly be influencing diabetes prevalence. It's important to note that GMOs themselves are not inherently harmful, 
and their safety depends on the specific modifications and rigorous testing they undergo before being approved for consumption. There is a concern that genetic modifications could introduce new allergens into foods or increase the allergenic potential of existing allergens. However, regulatory agencies conduct allergenicity assessments for genetically modified crops to minimize this risk. GMO crops may have unintended effects on the environment. For example, some genetically modified crops are engineered to be resistant to certain herbicides, which can lead to the overuse of these herbicides and the development of herbicide-resistant weeds. In some cases, genetic engineering techniques involve the use of antibiotic resistance genes as markers during the modification process. There are concerns that the transfer of these genes to bacteria in the environment could contribute to antibiotic resistance. Although many GMO crops developed recently no longer use antibiotic resistance markers. Some individuals have concerns about the long-term health effects of consuming GMO foods, arguing that the potential consequences may not be fully understood. However, extensive scientific studies have been conducted, and regulatory agencies review the safety of GMOs based on this research. Critics argue that the widespread adoption of genetically modified crops could lead to a loss of biodiversity. This concern stems from the dominance of a few genetically modified crop varieties, which may replace traditional or locally adapted crop varieties. Some people raise concerns about the patenting of genetically modified crops and the potential for corporate control over the seed supply. The concentration of intellectual property rights in the hands of a few large agribusiness companies can limit farmers' choices, restrict seed saving, and potentially increase dependence on specific companies or technologies. It's important to note that the safety of GMOs is a topic of ongoing scientific research and debate. Regulatory agencies in different countries, such as the Food and Drug Administration (FDA) in the United States and the European Food Safety Authority in Europe, assess the safety of GMOs before they are approved for commercial cultivation and consumption. These agencies rely on robust scientific evidence to ensure the safety of genetically modified crops. Of course, it's essential to remember that the research on GMOs and their impact on health is still evolving. Various factors such as diet, physical activity, genetics, and lifestyle also play critical roles in managing diabetes. It's also important to discuss any dietary changes with your healthcare provider or a nutritionist to ensure they align with your individual health goals and needs. So, what's the takeaway from our journey? While GMO foods offer certain benefits to farmers and can contribute to food sustainability, their potential impacts on health warrant a closer look, especially for individuals managing conditions like diabetes. By being mindful of our food choices and informed about the potential implications, we can pave the path toward better health.